One of the things that we're watching most closely right now is there's video footage that's airing on Arab television networks that show hundreds of people digging through the rubble, trying to rescue survivors at Gaza's largest refugee camp. Hamas authorities are blaming Israeli airstrikes, and they say hundreds are dead or injured. The Israeli military is saying it's still looking into this and finding out uh, whether they were involved. Uh, we know from very recent experience that in these horrific situations, it takes time for facts to emerge. Now, uh, just a quick note about what you're seeing behind me, uh, and I'll show it up closer for you. These are flares illum illuminating an area of Gaza. Uh, this is area of uh, major combat that we've been seeing, uh, especially uh, this evening. Now, Israeli officials said very little late last week at the start of the ground invasion of Gaza as they cut off communications there and kept quiet about where their first tanks and troops were going. It's now becoming clear Israel is at a stage of its war with Hamas that now involves direct on the ground combat. In a war shrouded in official secrecy, the latest video released by the Israel Defense Forces on Tuesday indicates that ground forces are engaged in fighting with Hamas. The IDF saying this video shows its ground troops hitting a Hamas terrorist outpost in the northern Gaza Strip, killing Hamas fighters and confiscating weapons and explosive devices. The IDF is acknowledging the firefights, saying Hamas terrorist cells have fired both anti-tank missiles and machine guns toward them. The Institute for the Study of War says Hamas, too, is claiming firefights with the Israeli military, which says it struck 300 targets in the last day, including anti-tank missile and rocket launch points in tunnel shafts. With each day, with each video, it becomes clear that Israel plans to expand the ground invasion of Gaza it initiated days ago. Today, the IDF releasing a video that shows what, for the moment, they are still holding back from Gaza. Rows and rows of tanks staged on the border. As you can see right now behind me, uh, the Israeli forces are really lighting up an area of Gaza. This is near the northern part of Gaza. We're looking out upon it from uh, our area, which is in Sitter Road. And I can tell you that uh, Israeli forces yesterday blocked a road connecting the outskirts of Gaza City to the south. It appears that these ground forces are tasked with encircling Gaza's largest population center before the main thrust of tanks and troops join the invasion. Jason, we heard uh, just moments ago that uh, Hamas has said release of some of these hostages is possible. But with the Israeli forces now skirmishing on the ground with these militants, what does that mean? Uh, what do you think is going to happen in the coming days? Well, that's really the question on the mind of just about everyone I speak with here. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said yesterday that Israel's expanding ground operation would help secure the release of more hostages. But families we've spoken with are not convinced that this is the strategy that's most likely to bring their loved ones home. That said, the rescue of that 19-year-old soldier yesterday was something all of Israel celebrated. And now there's late-breaking news that Hamas is saying that they're going to release in the coming days several hostages with foreign nationalities. No comment yet from the Israelis on this, on whether this really does appear like something that is going to happen, even as all of this is happening right now in Gaza. Julie. Right. J International correspondent Jason Bellini there along the border. Jason, thank you very much.